Hello, I'm the commander of football. I right, football, so football, football, and football, football. Football! I love football. To me, there are two types of the year. Football and fuck you where the hell is football. Football was the first sport that I absolutely watched as a child and absolutely enjoyed. Even though the football team that I've been rooting for all this time now sucks. <laughs> the Rams! <sighs> Luckily for me, I also like collegiate football and my team in that one has actually been doing fairly well even though they just lost recently. Uh, that being the Missouri Tigers. They have been one of the most consistent programs in the last few years, and I figured I'd pay homage to my team and review a football game. Why am I reviewing a football game? Because unlike the Nostalgia Critic, I am going to review everything, including sporting events, which, uh, as far as I'm aware, no one's ever attempted to do. So, I'm going to get a leg up on the Nostalgia Critic there. So, I'm going to do the 2010 matchup between Oklahoma and Missouri. And before I get going on that, i got to give props to YouTuber Huff99, who's an Oklahoma fan, because he uploads all these OU videos, full games of OU football, on YouTube. So, he gets all the credit for the video that he put on YouTube and kudos to you even though your team lost that night and so yeah without further delay let's take a look at the Missouri Oklahoma matchup from 2010 boo here we go we get the kickoff feeling at the 14 by Gaffney Looks like they got him contained. Uh-oh, he's got a hole. There he goes! Kick it in! He's not going to get him! He could go all the way! This is how you beat Oklahoma! Mob Zing! Look at those fans are going absolutely not. Yeah, it was sort of raining that night, but who cares? Nothing could dampen the spirits of Mizzou fans by the end of this football game. By the way, this was our homecoming game. And at the time, you're thinking, well, why the hell would you play in a homecoming game against Oklahoma when you're going to lose to them? Why wouldn't you? This, look at the fans. They're going nuts. That's why they play the game. Shocker indeed. It's going to get even more shocking. Now, we're going to cut all the way to the fourth quarter. I know, we're cutting into two other quarters. Virtually three whole quarters. But this is probably the best fourth quarter in the history of Mizzou football. At least recent history of Mizzou football. So, of course, I'm going to skip all the way to the ending. Because, well, yeah, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely sellout. Even the M's almost filled up. Lot of people to watch OU go down. There's your view of the columns. Lovely. There's the helmet. Missouri did a good job that night defensively, even though Landry Jones had his usual numbers. It was a bend but don't break performance. They kept him in the ball game. And there's Blaine Gabbert, who really hasn't done much since he got drafted in the NFL. Sucked with Jacksonville. Signed with the Niners this year. Sucked as a backup, so God knows what he's going to do. Landry Jones, I mentioned him. He replaced Sam Bradford. Bradford got drafted in 2010 by the Rams, and unfortunately, he hasn't been able to stay healthy with us. But yeah, he was a great quarterback in college. Landry Jones replaced him. He did a good job replacing him. But here we go. D 
This is the big touchdown to give Mizzou the lead for good. Clint Sarah he fucking missed him and he's gone! Fire those cannons! Not in front of the players! Bobby's thinking, uh-oh, these guys mean business. Herbie's right. Look at this. You don't go for the blow. You wrap them up. Thank you for the missed tackles. So, we are going to... Skip a little further ahead. So Mizzou missed the two-pointer there. That's right. Back him up. And your player. Yeah, by the way, as you see on the ticker down at the bottom of the screen, there was a baseball game going on. Giants were on the verge of, and as you see right there, we're on the verge of clinching the NLCS. They won the World Series that year, and they won another one two years after that. Here's the play. Tip. Landry's like, damn it! Mizzou's like, fuck yes! The crowd's like, we're gonna win! Oh, what a great... What a great tip. And an acrobatic play for the pick. How huge was that? Three turnovers by Oklahoma. That's why we wanted defense, man. And of course we're going to try and make OU pay. We're going to go for the jugular. Look at the OU players. They're like... Seriously, we're going to lose to Missouri? Yes, you're going to lose to Missouri. And you like it? All oh, this play rocks. Look at this. Look at that! Originally, they ruled it a touchdown. They went and reviewed it, overturned it. We ended up kicking a field goal on that drive. So... Yeah, boo, you held us to three. Look at this run. This is later in the quarter. We're driving again. After forcing a punt, we get the ball back, and it's halfway through the fourth, and we're driving again. There's T.J. Moe! He was a stellar wide receiver. In fact, earlier in the year, he made a nice catch in the rain all the way for a game-winning touchdown against San Diego State. We at Mizzou dub it the Mo Miracle. Or the... Well, there's no way to say Mo Miracle in shortness, but yeah, Mo Miracle. For those of you who don't know, he was the quarterback at Fortune Will West High School. And we're driving down the field. There's Henry Josie. I know what you're thinking. If you're a Mizzou fan, you know that Henry Josie's been, he wore 20 the last couple of years. Well, yeah, when he was a freshman that year, 41 was the number. So there you go.
That looked like a ground attack and defense to pound OU. I love it. Look at those running yards. We're doubling OU in rushing yards, pretty much. There's Ray, there's James Franklin. Josie in motion. Look at that. Look at him, Bob. Look at him. The linemen are helping. And that pretty much won us the game. We go up by two scores at that point. No way, though, you're going to come back on us. Absolutely no way whatsoever. Now, OU eventually scored a touchdown. We burned enough clock where now it's going to be impossible for OU to get two scores in less than 10 seconds. Yeah, look at this. Touchback, two seconds left. OU's going to have time for one play. Even if they score a touchdown on that last play, the game's over. We're going to win. Now, why am I showing this? We are going to watch the fans storm the field. I was amongst that group. Every single one of those black and gold fans stormed the field, and I was one of them. This will be a moment I will never forget. Yeah, we're going to cut into this, and here we go. This is pretty much the end. So there you go. Incomplete game over. Here come the fans! Storming the field and the security guys are like, you know what? We'll let you have this one brief and shining moment. But don't ever do it again. Little did they realize we would do it again three years later when we beat AM to clinch the ACC East. Unfortunately, we lost in the SEC Championship game. Ohio State later lost. We could have gotten to the title game last year, but not to be. But look at how quickly the field was covered. Oh, he's like, fuck. Yeah, screw this shit. We're getting the hell out of here. That was an awesome, awesome moment. So that was the Mizzou-Oklahoma game. I know I didn't show much as far as uh, game is concerned, but I showed you the big plays, the highlights, the moments of the game, and the storming of the field. So... If you guys like it, I can continue to do sporting event reviews, but otherwise, I just wanted to show this one to you, so I hope you like it. I'm the Commander Xander, and I love football!